Oh, it's helping a lot. It's a little chilly out here, but it's good. Why is this defense better than the last time you guys have played Washington? Uh, you know, I, th I feel like this team, not, not, not just defense, but bought into, you know, constant improvement. Like, what can we do better, you know? After that loss, you know, it left a nasty feeling in my mouth. So, you know, we watch that game every week. You know, how can we improve? And I feel like we're hungrier. We got more physical, you know, we're, we're more amped up. And uh, I feel like we're confident in each other. And I feel like it's going to be a, a great show on Friday. You you watch this game every week or? I know I watch this game every week because I know I also get my get back. So now it's time to get it. What, what are you focusing on in those watches? Taking Michael Penix out. Yeah. He's been quite different statistically mm -hmm. since you guys played him. There's a lot of talk about whether or not he's playing hurt. Yeah. Obviously, we have no idea. But do you feel like you guys may have dinged him up a little bit in that game? Yeah, for sure. You know, you can always see it in that character, like how they act playing the games. And, you know, it's not just like it's hit him all the time. You know, if you just get his feet off the spot, you know, if it, that affects him a lot. You know, Coach Tosh says, like, He's just standing in the pocket, just standing there. He's probably one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. But you get that feet moving out of his spot and don't let him get the rhythmic throws, and then he's he's a standard quarterback. Do you guys feel like you did a good enough job of that the first time you faced him? Oh, no. I feel like we could have we had plenty of opportunities to get just, not just hit him, but get some ball shots on him, you know, run, run, reach, strip sacks, and, you know, change the game, you know, those are like splash plays, scoring defense type plays we need. So I feel like. This defense knows we can hit him, and he knows that we can hit him, so I feel like it's going to be a great time. We first play, you know, that's, that's the goal. Brandon, what a curtain call for the Pac-12, potentially the CFP on the line, a Heisman Trophy potential on Have you had a moment to just kind of reflect on how special this will be? No, yeah, you know, we all see it. It's always on the outside noise. It's, just, it's, it's exciting, you know, exciting time to play football. You know, this is what we worked for, you know, since January. We always talked about it, you know, we, we do our job, we're going to be right in positions. And we, get, we all smell it, you know, it's, it's right there in our hands, so now we just got to finish the job. Is the energy in practice a little bit different this week because of that, or is it kind of just business as usual? No, yeah. if, you just, if you watch the practice, it's, it's business, you know. We, we know what's at stake, and our goal is just to go to the championship, just to win the championship and get into the playoffs. What makes their tackles a, a challenge in individual matchups? What, what's difficult about them? Uh, they have really savvy tackles, you know. Throughout the game, they, they won't give you one type of set. You know, they'll angle set you a couple of times, then they'll be aggressive, short set you, and then they, they, they might change it and go back to being patient. So, in that that time, you guys have to learn what are you going to do to change up? You know, you can't always go speed of power. You got to change your move. Go, oh, I'm going to go finesse here. Oh, finish back inside on this move. So, it's always, it's like it's like checkers and chess. Like, you can't just be out there throwing the same moves. And that's the one thing about I, I like playing against Troy and those tackles, it, it's, it's fun. Jordan Burge has had a couple of really good games against USC and Oregon State, and it really seems to kind of be clicking for him in the second half. So, what, what have you seen from him? Nah, you know, he's just sticking to what, what he works, you know. You know like, early in the season, you know, he was hot. You know, started off hot, and you know, he felt he felt like he he, he falling off. But you no, know, we just work. I just don't keep working. You know, it's, it's a long season, and if you keep working, it's, everybody's gonna see the work you put in. And it's not just like sacks he's put on field. He's putting effort plays, you know, running to the ball, screen plays, you know. Those are the type of plays NFL teams wanna see, and those are the type of plays that help us win. So if he keeps doing that. We're gonna keep playing him. That spin move that he put on Kawaga and then set up uh, Mateo back on DJ. Just have you guys seen much of that in practice? Is it the first time we've seen it. What? This spin move. The spin move? Oh no! You know, Burst, he has his, uh, plenty of plenty of moves. You know, the spin. We, we don't always try to work the spin because it's kind of dangerous. You never know when the guard's gonna come back and get you. So when we know the guard's not gonna leave us alone, we, we, we'll go go back in there. What's your favorite pass rushing move? I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't can't give up my my tricks. Their, their run game is different since you played them. Mm -hmm. Dylan Johnson's had a bigger role. Yeah, but. but What's different about him when you look at him now compared to six weeks ago? Even with Dylan, I feel like he's, he's kind of banged up too after watching those games. Uh, last week, you know, he wasn't really run, running the same since we played him. Uh, he's a great back. He's one, the only back to rush 100 yards on us. And we take that personal. I feel like we're the best run stop defense in the nation, so we have to go show him that we're about. How beneficial is it to face this team twice and kind of have that prior knowledge of what they'd like to do? Yeah, like Coach Tony said, I mean, this morning, like, we know what they're going to do and they know what, we, what we're going to do, so. It's about who's going to adjust, who's going to have less mistakes, you know. It's not going to be a clean game. Everybody knows that. Stuff is going to happen, but it's always how can you stay high, how can you and like, not get too low on those type of plays. If you had to defend a fourth down like they ran this past week, mm -hmm. we realized they did it in their own territory as yeah. goal line, but how difficult is that where a Dunze could suddenly hit it on a reverse when you're trying to go inside? 
Uh, I mean, they have a lot of tricks, you know, down the goal line. Uh, biggest thing is don't let them get down to the goal line. Uh, I feel like even if they do get down there, we'll stop them again how we did in Seattle. All right, thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Brandon. Yes,